It's been a while since I last made an episode of Adulting in the Philippines kasi totoo lang, it's quite hard to make and it's complicated to make kasi there's a lot of nuance in adulting topics. What I mean is, it cannot be answered with a simple yes or a simple no or a simple right or a simple wrong. The last, the answer to adulting topics is somewhere in between which, alam mo yun, parang ang hirap niya talagang gawin and, and it takes a lot of effort to make it. But anyway, today, let's talk about why most adults are not happy with their careers. Originally, this idea was inspired from a conversation I had with my college friends last Christmas kasi pag-usapan namin na almost everyone is not content with their current careers. And uh, alam ko, it's a bit off to talk about this topic with the current situation we have right now. Alam ko, ang daming unemployed as of the moment. And siguro hindi lang talaga para sa inyo itong video na to uh, during this situation. So, I hope don't find this offensive and just click out of the video if you find this video offensive as of the moment. And hindi ko din talaga kaya ma-please lahat ng tao. So, I hope uh, we're all cool sa video na to. Okay, when I look at this topic, there are three main reasons why I think a lot of people near my age are not happy with their careers or are not happy with their work. Number one is low salary. Sa madalas, uh, they are overworked and they are undercompensated. Number two, toxic work environment. Madalas, you don't get along with your co-workers or you don't get along with your boss. And number three, unfulfilling career or minsan, alam mo yun, parang you just don't see any purpose kung bakit ka nagkatrabaho sa company yun or bakit ka pumapasok. Or minsan, alam mo yun, parang andun ka lang kasi it, it pays the bills, it keeps you afloat, and sa madaling salita, you are a corporate slave. Let's discuss each reason briefly and then at the end of the video, I'll share my personal experience. Uh, number one, let's start muna with number one, low salary. Uh, totoo lang, here in the Philippines, most available jobs are low-paying jobs. And let's just admit the fact na we are a developing country and hanggang doon lang talaga willing mag-compensate yung mga companies sa atin. And I remember I was having this conversation with my friend who works sa semiconductor industry. And by the way, license engineer na to ah. Um, meron silang counterpart na, na department sa ibang bansa nila. And then, they're doing the same job, they're doing the same output, pero mas malaking sweldo na sa ibang bansa compared to him. And it's just the reality na meron tayo dito. That is the reason why madami pa din talaga ang mga Filipino na nag-OFW. And in the coming weeks, si Nat, yung girlfriend ng friend ko, is, is on her way to New Zealand to start a new career. And I'm happy for her kasi she's finally going to get paid for what she deserves. But at the same time, it makes me wonder na aalis ba yung mga Filipino if we could compensate them competitive to the global rate? That is one thing I hope na ma-witness ko in my lifetime. Siguro kahit nasa 50s na ako or 60s na ako, if I know na yung apa ko or grandchild ko will be fairly compensated, alam mo yun, that would make me really happy. Number two, toxic work environment. Now, this could manifest in different ways, shapes, or forms. Pero one thing na madalas ko narinig sa mga friends ko are chismis. So, this is something na talagang iniiwasan nila. Iniiwasan nilang mapag-chismisan sila, especially in the workplace. The next siguro dyan is hindi nila makasundo yung co-workers nila or yung boss nila. Kasi in the workplace, totoo naman na meron talagang palakasan or how they call it is passive sipan. And minsan dyan mo talaga makikita kung hanggang saan mo kaya makisama. But there are times talaga na lumalagpas sa boundary mo of what is right and what is wrong yan eh. Another thing that I keep asking myself is bakit kaya sa workplace you, you can't make genuine connections or genuine relationships or true friendships. Alam mo yun? Kasi kung titinan mo, uh, when you are at school, parang sobrang daling makabuo ng friendships or legit friends, di ba? Pero once you are at your workplace na, parang hanggang co-workers na lang kayo. So those, those are some things that makes me wonder kung bakit kaya. And yun, uh, by the way, those are some of the things to consider that makes people unhappy at work. Number three, unfulfilling careers. Totoo lang, I only have a very handful of friends na masasabi nila na they, they find purpose or, for, or fulfillment in their current careers. And karamihan, they're just there kasi it pays the bills and it keeps them afloat. And nothing wrong with that uh, for as long as content ka dyan and masaya ka dyan. Pero kasi karamihan, they, they, they felt stuck. They're unhappy, tapos madalas na umay na sila kasi yung work nila is so routinary and they don't feel any growth anymore. Minsan I find it really confusing na nobody mentioned to me before na sobrang hirap maghanap ng career na you love, you're passionate about, and at the same time, pays really well. Kasi yung sinasabi lang nila sa akin before is get a college degree na malaking sweldo pagka natapos mo. Pero alam mo, 
may realize mo as, as you grow older na there's more to a career than money. Kasi at some point in time, may realize mo na if you're not passionate about your work, mag-burn out ka lang eh. Don't get me wrong, may realize mo lang to once you're able to provide for your PC eats, once you're able to pay for your food, your shelter, uh, yung clothing mo. For as long as mabayaran mo na lahat ng essentials mo, pag kaya mo nang bayaran yon. Tsaka mo lang marirealize to eh. So in this video, totoo lang, I don't have the answers to these problems kasi ako mismo, I'm still figuring it out. And sa ngayon, I finally learned kung ano talaga yung gusto kong gawin. I wanted to be a creative freelance that works on photos and videos. And sa ngayon, I'm still figuring out how to make money out of it kasi totoo lang, figuring out what you want is just one of the picture. Kung hindi mo alam kung paano mag-make ng money out of it, alam mo, hindi siya magiging sustainable. So it's either you find a way how to make money out of it or dapat meron ang other source of income. So I wanted to pass the question sa inyo. What are your answers or thoughts about this topic? Especially about low salary or low compensation here in the Philippines, in toxic work environment natin, and then unfulfilling careers. Let me know them in the comment section and let's start the conversation surrounding this topic. So yun lang, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye!